Hi there, just wanted to show you a video on how we winterize irrigation systems. There will be a few caveats throughout the video, but this is what we've done for thousands of, of uh, sprinkler systems that we've winterized over the years. And uh, first thing we'll do is show you the air compressor we use. The most important thing with the air compressor isn't the pressure, but the volume. So we use a wheelbarrow style air compressor. Ours happens to be Hitachi, uh, but there's a bunch of other manufacturers that uh, make the same style, um, volume, pressure, horsepower air compressor. Uh, this one happens to be 5.5 horsepower, but the most important thing is the volume. It has eight gallons of air that it can store up and then push through the system. So the first thing we do is turn the system off, turn the water off, and where we live, uh, it's called a stop and waste valve. It's usually by the water meter. Otherwise, you'll have to go into your basement and turn it off, or, my oh gosh, who knows where it is? Probably somewhere outside. And uh, so we'll turn that off. We'll pull out our, our hose, and then we will hook it up to the backflow and you will need the uh, specific fittings that will thread into the test cock and then uh, to your hose so i'll show you that and they just have to match the male and female have to match and what we do is we'll thread that in i'll hook that up and uh, turn off the number one uh, ball valve and uh, turn on a zone and then we will open up the test cock and start evacuating the water out of the zone and you want to with a, sp a spray zone you'll want to wait till it starts misting and then maybe just a little bit longer after that and then you know that's good and then you'll just move to the next zone and get all done and then one of the last things we'll do is we will open up the test cock and uh, allow it to drain from the backflow to the stop and waste valve. Or if the stop and waste valve is, is uh, higher in elevation than uh, the backflow is, then we will actually uh, use the air compressor and push the water back through uh, the pipe out the stop and waste valve. And then to finish it off, we'll just turn the ball valves a quarter turn and uh, leave the test cocks open. Some people like to do a quarter turn on the test cocks. I like to leave them full open because it's such a small little t valve that I just want to make sure it's open because I do have another video on this, but if the ball, uh, your isolation valve is leaking, it will leak, it'll fill up the uh, main line, and then it'll come out that first test cock which will save you very expensive repair in uh, the spring or maybe even the winter. Uh, depends on how bad the leak is. All right, uh, have a great day and thanks for watching.